What's up, Trojans? I'm CJ. I'm Dom. And I'm Hannah. And welcome back to our TNT broadcast. We have a lot of current updates on school news and the latest in sports, plus the weather this weekend. So please like and subscribe to our weekly broadcast. You'll find us at youtube.com slash TPS television. Please like and subscribe. Wow, that snow yesterday was crazy. It was really nice to stay home and sleep in. I built a snowman with my brother and I went sledding with my friends. It was really fun. It was a nice break from all the work. It was really fun, Hannah. Tonight we have parent-teacher conferences and a half day tomorrow. What's your guys' plans for the half day? Well, I think I'm just going to go home, work out, and sleep, honestly. That's the best I can do. I think my sisters are going to come over and we might bake cookies. Nice. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. All this snow day talk has me wondering, what's the weather going to be like this week? Me too. Let's go over to McKenna with the weather to see how much snow we should be expecting. Good evening, THS. I hope everyone enjoyed their snow day. Today's weather is looking cloudy with a few snow showers throughout the day, with winds of about 8 miles per hour. As for the temperature, it's going to be a high of 34 and a low of 22 degrees. Humidity is 90% and precipitation is at 22. Moving on to this weekend, Friday will be cloudy all day with afternoon snow showers, a high of 30 and a low of 25. As for Saturday, it will be snowy with a high of 29 and a low of 27. That's all for the weather today. Back to Anchors. Wow. Well, the weather is sure to be unpredictable, but one thing we can count on is the Trojans taking out all the competition in all things sports. We have the latest in sports, right here, right now. The boys hockey team lost to Brother Rice Saturday. Their game was scheduled for yesterday against Detroit Catholic Central has been rescheduled for today at 4 p.m. at Kennedy. For the varsity boys basketball team, they lost to Allen Park on Tuesday. They play away at Wyandotte tonight at 7 p.m. and Saturday home against Taylor at 5. The girls basketball team beat Allen Park Tuesday. Bree Thomas scored 28 points, 20 of them coming in the fourth quarter to lead the girls to the win. The girls are back tonight at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. home against Wyandotte, and six, they play at 6 again away against Taylor. For the boys swim and dive team, Trenton had won the Downriver League title for the first time since 2020. Good job, boys. Today, they have a home meet against Carlson at 6 p.m. Make sure you guys check out the end zone with my fellow hosts, Dom and CJ, talking about the latest sports news. That's all we have for sports this week. Make sure you're supporting your Trojans, and go Blue. a lot of games this week. I'm sure yearbook photographers will be there taking pictures, which reminds me, the yearbook committee has been hard at work this year uh, on this year's yearbook, so make sure to check out www.yearbookforever.com to purchase yours today. Remember that the longer you wait, the more expensive they get. I'm sure you've seen the TVs displaying a QR code lately. Seniors, this is for you. Make sure to scan the screen now to upload pictures of you or your friends for the annual senior video that will be played at graduation. Don't miss out. THS loves to celebrate their staff members. We are pleased to introduce our new staff member, Ms. Hinsman. Let's see, how the, let's see that video now. Yes, uh, this is my first year teaching um, at Trenton and just in general is my first year teaching. I've really enjoyed getting to know all of the students. Um, everybody's different. They have their own little um, personality and uniqueness that I love. I've always loved teaching. Both my parents were teachers, so I kind of grew up in a teacher atmosphere. Um, but I also really like helping other people, and I was really interested in psychology and social studies. Um, so I thought, um, why not help people? And I really liked high school. So I wanted to be around high school kids and just kind of share my love of psychology and all that stuff. Next week kicks off our iReady testing for our 9th and 10th graders, and the PSAT and SAT are just around the corner this spring. We have a lot of resources to help students succeed on these important tests. Let's take a look now. Happy New Year, THS. Now that the holiday season has come to an end, you know what season is next? SATs and PSATs. It may seem like it's far away, but the dreaded test day will be here before you know it. Be sure to mark your calendars for Wednesday, April 12th. 
To ensure you get the score you want, take a little bit of time every week to prepare for both math and English exams, as well as the essay portion. A great resource to use is Khan Academy. It has everything you need to use to study, including practice questions and videos. Be sure to talk to your counselor about any other resources or study groups you could take advantage of to prepare. You can also talk to the math and English department heads, Mrs. Cheek and Mrs. Gray, for further information about study tips and different material you can expect to see on the test. But don't forget to take breaks while studying. It is important to get lots of rest leading up to a test. That being said, get a good night's rest the day before and eat a substantial breakfast the morning of. Good luck and take care of yourself. We also have a PSA about proper public safety, made by my own crew and myself. Let's watch that now. Uh. Come on, why is it, why isn't it working? The stupid Chromebook. Instead of punching your Chromebook, here's what you should do. Uh, come on, why is it not working? Okay, first I'm gonna make sure I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. It's TPS. That looks good. If not, make sure you go down to the library so they can get you connected. Second. I'm gonna make sure I can restart my Chromebook. After I restart my Chromebook, if it's still not working, ask your teacher for help. Then, if your teacher can't help, head to the library and the tech department can help you. And never carry your Chromebook around like this. Make sure it's closed and carry it with two hands. And for your charger, make sure it's wrapped up. It's not nunchucks, don't swing it around. So we headed down to the IMC, or the library, and we got one of their free Chromebook cases. So this protects your Chromebook, and we're just going to give you a little tour of it. So it comes in this uh, wrapping to make sure it's brand new and fresh, um, and there's a lot of things that are really cool about this case. So first, you can put your name on it here so you don't get it mixed up with other people's Chromebooks. And then there's also a, a little pocket here that you can put all of your pencils and your Chromebook charger in. And then for the actual inside the case, it is really cool. It has these zippers right here, and also these, you can carry it like a little briefcase. And so basically, you have this strap right here that you can carry it kind of like an over-the-shoulder bag, or kind of like a purse. So you can unwrap it, and basically put it on these hooks right here. And this is really fun. I like carrying my Chromebook case like this. We like over the shoulder, and you can address the strap to make it longer. Also, brand new, you also have this right here to hold in your Chromebook. So basically what you do is you open up your Chromebook, you put the strap right here so it holds it in place, and then there's two straps down here. So when you carry your case, it stays locked in there. And then up here, we just have this nice mesh and this other uh, silver holding right here to make sure your top stays there. So this is the free Chromebook case in the IMC. Thanks for watching our PSA. Bye. There are also a lot of scholarship opportunities that are posted in your Q communication and in the Counseling Office Schoology group. You can also stop by and see Mrs. Riley in the Career Center for more information. We have our annual snowball dance this month on the 27th. It's from 6 to 9 p.m. Tickets will be on sale from now through the 25th. It's $25 on school pay. Make sure to get your ticket. And with that, thank you for watching TNT News. I'm CJ. I'm Dom. And I'm Hannah. Enjoy your weekend and have the great rest of your day.